Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on how you go about transferring cryptocurrency to crypto.com from Coinbase. So I'm going to have some Bitcoin on Coinbase and I'm going to transfer that over to crypto.com. So the first thing that we're going to do is open up the crypto.com application. And then towards the top, we're going to click where it says transfer. And then that pops up this menu where we're going to click on where it says deposit because these funds are going to be coming over from Coinbase. And this is going to be depositing crypto from other platforms. So I'm going to select that option. And for this example, I'm going to be using Bitcoin. So I select the Bitcoin option here. And then your Bitcoin wallet address is going to show up towards the bottom. We're going to click on the copy option. And then it says wallet address copied. And this is for receiving those Bitcoin funds. So now we're going to go back to our home screen. And then I'm going to click on the Coinbase application. And then down here towards the bottom with these arrows going left and right, this is the transfer option. So we're going to click on that. And we're going to be sending crypto to another wallet. So we're going to click that option right here. And I'm going to be sending Bitcoin. So I select the Bitcoin here towards the top. And I'm going to transfer all of the Bitcoin that I have available. You can just enter in however much Bitcoin or whatever cryptocurrency that you're looking to transfer and then click continue. And this isn't going to be sending it to a contact. So I'm going to click where it says not now at the bottom. And then in the to area, it says mobile email or address. And we copied that Bitcoin wallet address earlier. And that's where we're going to paste it right in this area at the top. So that I'm going to click paste and then I'm going to click preview send. And then it's going to show us how much Bitcoin that we're sending, the fee that's associated with the total. And then if everything checks out, you can click send now at the bottom. And then it may prompt you to enter in the two step verification code. And you get this over in the Google Authenticator app. So going back to the home page and then opening up the Google Authenticator app. And then in the Google Authenticator app, I can see my Coinbase six digit code. So I need to remember this and go back to the Coinbase application. So that temporary code right now for me is 064271 and then I click submit. And then it shows you how much Bitcoin that you sent. This transaction usually takes about 30 minutes. So then we can either view the transaction at the bottom or we can click done. So when clicking on to see the details of this transaction, it's going to list everything that applies to this, where we sent the Bitcoin to the fee, the price per coin, the date this was done and the current status, which is pending. And then eventually after a bit of time, this transaction will show up over in our crypto.com account. So launching the crypto.com application, what we want to do is go down towards the bottom and click on where it says accounts. And then in the upper right hand corner, you can see that little clock with the dollar sign next to it. If we click on that, it's going to open up our transactions. And we can see that this most recent Bitcoin transaction that we're making from Coinbase is still pending. And we can see the amount right there. We click on it and it gives us the information regarding this particular Bitcoin deposit. And eventually, once this deposit goes from pending to completed, then that status will change in our transaction history and the Bitcoin will show up in our cryptocurrency wallet under the Bitcoin area. So I hope this video was helpful. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.